can say, you know, it's incredible performance today for him. You know, he was, like you say, he commanded all his pitch, especially the fastball, you know. When he commanded that pitch, you know, his secondary pitch is working really well. And that's what he does today. He changed out his curveball, slider, you know. Everything was working. That was amazing. Like I say, after the... The last hour is amazing. It's a great feeling. Before that, you know, you had to be focused, uh, uh, thinking every pitch, every hitter, you know, and no, not paying attention to the scoreboard. Just calling pitch, uh, try to call the right pitch, and this will happen. You know, you know, you know how to put pressure to yourself. You know, after the that, you can you can enjoy the moment. But before, you had to be focused on the percent. You know, it's funny um, when me and Tim were in Triple A. I played against him, and he threw a one-hitter in AAA, and I was like, man, this guy is unbelievable. And, you know, to do it twice now in the big leagues and, and today to throw a gem, it's just an absolute gem, it, it, it tells you, you know, what he is capable of doing every day. And he's so lights out. He's uh, he's one heck of a pitcher, and, uh, you know, he's a San Francisco favorite. You know, at, at that point, when he's coming up to you, you got to just, you know, you're, you're a servant at that time. So whatever he says goes. But a, a, as you could probably tell, no one was coming up to him, and no one was even giving, looking him in the eyes, you know. So, uh, you know, we just let him do his thing, man. And he was just so confident out there and relaxed. And, you know, he just pitched one heck of a game. You know, I think it kind of sunk in with me when uh, Morse was telling me, you know, he was saying, I don't know what to do right now, you know, watching it on the bench. And he said Hudson was kind of, I don't know if Hudson had been a part of one either. So um, just goes to show you two guys that have played a lot of baseball, how how lucky <clears throat> that some of us aren't here that have um, been a part of three of them. You're a part of something special. Um, not too many people throw multiple no-hitters in their career. And, uh, you know, it's it's fun to uh, fun to be a part of. How would you compare this one to Tim's last year? Yeah, I don't compare. Um, I just they're both magnificent and they're both um, special. And uh, you know, I was happy and, and loved every minute of it. It was it, it's it's truly special. So um, there's no way that words can describe it. You just enjoy it. It is. It's a little bit different. Yeah, he was he was talking to me like after one of the half innings, and I was like, man, you're, you're not gonna sit down and you know just relax and not talk to anybody like like most guys would, but. Yeah, he's, he's just, he's having a good time. It's almost like he doesn't even know what's happening. Timmy threw the grip ball great from the beginning to the end, <clears throat> you know, and it showed going out there. And he uh, he was he was getting ahead of guys really early, and he was putting them away really quick. And, you know, uh, that, that shows a lot for what he's been trying to work on in between starts and and uh, all the effort he's been putting into it. And, you know, he did just a tremendous job today, and it was really, really fun to watch and really nerve-wracking at the end.